All right, after the successful power on, the only thing left to do is build the circuit. So I bought these components ahead of time. Uh, if you remember the circuit, um, here's a quick picture of it. It'd probably be better if I just flashed a screenshot of it. Uh, but like I've said in the past, we are doing a bridged uh, wire up, a bridged subwoofer. So if you can see here, that means we're basically connecting three speakers to two speaker ports. So speaker left, speaker right are wired up, and basically the subwoofer kind of piggybacks on those signals. And to do that, as you can see here, we've got a capacitor here, a capacitor here, and an inductor here that leads right to the subwoofer. So. I took a gander at this chart and I decided I wanted my cutoff frequency. That's the frequency that separates, uh, you know, which signal goes to which speaker, uh, to be at 100 hertz. And to do that, it says you need a 6.2 milli Henry inductor. Oh, I shouldn't be touching this. And a f and 400 uh, microfarad capacitors. Uh, I got pretty close to that, so I was able to procure a 6.8 milli Henry inductor. This sucker, my gosh, um, yeah, this thing weighs at least two or three pounds. I can't believe how thick and big this thing is. <laughs> and that goes for the capacitors too. So each one of these uh, is 500 microfarads, if you can see that. I didn't get the 400. Uh, I would love to connect all these components to an oscilloscope and a sig gen, uh, you know, signal generator and try to figure out which frequencies pass through which pathways in this circuit. Uh, but the only way I can do that is at work. And if I bring all my personal stuff to work, somebody's going to start asking questions. So we're just going to have to take the word for it. I figure since I matched right up on the inductor and a little less on the capacitors at 500 I'm probably going to, my cutoff frequency is probably going to be somewhere between 180 hertz, which should be fine. Um, it'd be nice to know exactly where it is, but probably not going to happen um, through experimentation anyway. So uh, I'm going to wire these up. That's going to be a, oh, I forgot to show you. Yeah, I bought some speaker wire today and some crimpers. I don't know. That's probably not even what they're called, uh, but that's boring stuff. So I'm going to basically wire up these speakers according to these ports tap into the lines where i need to wire up the inductor of the capacitors and uh man that's gonna be it i'm pumped we're gonna uh we're very close we're, we are very close to trying this out so stay tuned for next video that's when i'm gonna show you the entire circuit and yeah, we're gonna try to pump some jams baby take a listen <laughs> 